Dave Besant, who was a hero when these two sides met on the opening day of the season, saving a Dean Saunders penalty. Chelsea won 2-1. Quite well fancies at the start of the season, and they're coming here now with five straight wins behind them in uh, all competitions. Dury tussling with Pickering. Wise almost getting in his way. Oh, and Dixon a tap in. And Shilton is furious, understandably. So just the start the Chelsea supporters wanted to see here at the baseball ground. And Gordon Jury too strong here for Nick Pickering, finding a teammate, Dennis Wise, almost interrupting his progress. And no one for Derby was keeping tabs on Dixon. Ramage going towards the near post. Uh, it was hit deeper towards Harford. Cross back by Callahan. And Kerry Dixon making sure that Chelsea uh, hang on at least for the time being to the lead that he's given them. But he's conceded the corner. Taken by Callahan. Met by Mark Wright. Harford given time to turn and glanced in by Saunders. So Derby back 1 1 within four minutes. A very brisk opening quarter of an hour here. Both sides have scored and Derby level. And Chelsea will be cursing the amount of room they gave to Harford there. And Saunders just got a piece of it to glance it in. Three in the wall for Derby. Wise over the ball. And it's back with him. Deep for the second time. Lee has done very well. Pushed out by Shilton. It must be a second. And it's Dixon again. A real blow this for Derby with three minutes to go to half time. And it looked as though Peter Shilton perhaps prevented it when he reacted very smartly after David Lee's juggling and shot, but it rolled so kindly for Dixon. Jury taking it away from Lee, crossing over Dixon that time. Harvey trying to get going from deep and repair the damage caused by Kerry Dixon's second of the game. Oh, and Wright's in trouble. Jury's there. And it breaks here for Hall and another one for Jury. Oh, and from Derby's point of view, that really was a very messy goal to concede. And Mark Wright dwelling fatally. Jury got to it. And Gareth Hall was well to the fore here for Chelsea. And he only needed to play it right, which he did. And Gordon Jury said, thank you very much. Mel Sage thinking better of the short free kick and hitting it towards the head of half of Wright didn't get there. And it was just maybe a quarter of a chance for Derby. Still going forward with Callahan. And now Pickering's cross. Harford. And Hebert! So, 17 minutes into the second half. Renewed hope for Derby. They were persistent here. And in the end, they got the reward. Harford really fighting for it in the thick of things. And it broke for Trevor Hebbard, undetected, 2-3. Well, it's not the sort of match that the coaches enjoy watching, full of mistakes, but it's a fabulous game for the fans. And Derby, really with a bit between their teeth. Now it's Saunders again. And they are level.
level. And no wonder some of the supporters want to get onto the pitch to add their congratulations. 3-1 down at half-time, but now it's 3-3. Callahan, who's so expert at providing the service from wide positions, met firmly by Saunders. Derby County, really flying high at the moment. Good play from Paul Williams. Every tackle being roundly cheered. Every challenge applauded by the uh, Derby supporters who have been delighted with the reaction of their favourites in the second half. And this is Gary Micklewhite, and they're in front! What an extraordinary turnaround! Well, we've had three Derby second-half goals in a 13-minute spell. And a 3-1 deficit is now a 4-3 lead. Clever play from Saunders, and Chelsea were rather mesmerised by that. It flicked off the head of Peter Nicholas, which actually uh, helped Michael White, and he steered it wide of Besant, who was rooted to his line. Harford. Paul Williams. Link linking up with Saunders. Oh, and Hebbard. Michael White got it behind Dorigo. Hebbard was stretching, and it was Wise who helped Chelsea out, plus the goalkeeper, of course. Well, there's a fair amount of delirium here in Derby. Look at those supporters on the far side. They're thrilled by what they're witnessing. Chelsea uh, shell-shocked at the moment. But maybe they've got the right to reply now with Stewart. And Derby, who were gallivanting forward, suddenly had to chase back against Gordon Jury, who crosses. Oh, and Wise is unmarked. And Chelsea have got it back to 4-4. Well, a real avalanche of attacking play here from both sides. You have to say, some appalling defending as well. And Dennis Wise, all alone, no chance for Shilton. Michael White to take the corner. Is there going to be a winner? Well, Besant wins on that particular instant. Uses the ball well. And Jury, there are a few forwards more powerful on a run than him. Has he seen a gap? He has, and he's found it! And the balance of power here goes back Chelsea's way. They seem to have it sewn up at half-time when they were 3-1 up. And then, incredibly, they found themselves behind 4-3. But Jury, who's having really a personal bonanza here, he kept on going, he looked up, and he picked his spot. Such a change in emphasis. And Derby County have to do it again if they're going to get any reward from this magnificent match. Dorigo. We've already had nine goals, and Chelsea looking to take us into double figures. Stewart cuts it back. A six for Chelsea. And it's Graham Lasso. And surely that is it now. We're in time added on. Stewart got past Sage, and Lasso tucked it away. Derby with barely time to restart this game that will live long, long, long in the memory. They lose, but they played a major part. But Chelsea have the points. Derby County four, Chelsea six. You have to say it to believe it. 
One of the most remarkable games ever seen at the baseball ground, spoiling a derby run of four wins in six matches.